This is my second generation six axis stepper motor robot. It's uh, all 3D printed out of ABS. All the, uh, the stepper motors are inexpensive, gear drive stepper motors from Stepper Online. Um, all the other components, I, I designed the robot completely around low cost components I could get off Amazon and McMaster and eBay. So all of the belts, pulleys, um, sprockets, and bearings are all off the shelf items, uh, pretty inexpensive items. Um, the robot has uh, limit switches on each axis and then I can run a calibration routine. Uh, I'll do that now so that you can see. So when I hit calibrate, it's going to go all the way to its negative limit on each axis and when it hits that switch it'll basically re-zero everything. So now the robot's gone to its full limits in every direction and then in the software you know calibration successful and all of the axis limits are where they're supposed to be um, and I'll run it back home here real quick so there it's back to home position um, as far as the control, I've got a 11 by 16 uh, box here, um, six stepper motor drivers, um, Arduino, eight channel relay output board, a couple power supplies. Uh, it looks pretty busy, but it didn't take too long to wire up. It's mostly just a, a bunch of jumper wires, but um, it does have a fence circuit um, and an e-stop circuit, so you can tie in different stuff to it. Um, then as far as the software, this was uh, all written in Python. I wrote it in Python and uh, basically you've got a, a panel here you can build a program in. You've got uh, speed control, acceleration, deceleration. You can teach positions, replace positions, um, wait for a period of time, wait for inputs and outputs to come on and off, set uh, outputs on and off. That's how I'm controlling the gripper. I've got a, a little SMC gripper here that I got off eBay for 40 bucks. Uh, running off a solenoid valve uh, air tank um, I've also got um, You know uh, tabs that you can jump to um, You can also watch inputs to see if they come on or off to jump to different Spots in the program and then you can call different programs. So you've got full navigation uh, Control there and then um, you can jog the robot in joint or in XYZ uh, pitch roll So I got all the kinematics uh, worked out, uh, works pretty well, but a few bugs to work out still. But set up a demo here.
So I've been getting about 30 to 60 thousandths repeatability out of it, which I guess isn't too bad for a, for a plastic robot. It's homemade. Um, anyway, I've got a little more work to do, but I'm going to put um, all the STL files to print it, as well as all the software for the Arduino, the software uh, for the computer, um, as well as I've got uh, instructions, pictorial instructions for putting it together, bill of materials, and electrical schematics. I'm going to put all that on GitHub. That'll all be free. Um, and I'm also working with a friend at a machine shop. We're going to make all these components out of aluminum and build an aluminum version of this robot. Um, and I'm also working on a, uh, building a pre-made wiring harness for it too. So maybe those will be available down the road anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll have all that stuff up on GitHub here shortly in a few weeks. So thanks for watching.